Hello everyone, my name is Clay and welcome to episode 27 of Vampire the Masquerade Bloodlines, where we are now going to go tell Venus that we successfully removed the hunter without killing any innocents, which I don't think I managed when I played this on stream. Also, you might have noticed between the last episode and this one that there's a quality change, things look a little cleaner, that's because I figured out how to increase the quality in my recording software. That also happens to make the files much, much larger. I'll live with it. <laughs> the point was to make things look a lot better, because my computer is capable of handling it. You know, using better, using the right encoder and a bunch of other gibberish. All right. Look who's back, Miss Valor. Velvet will do nicely. About that hunter. Mm hmm. Hunter's dead. I know. So you like loud noises, do you? I asked you to be quiet. All you've done is attract attention to yourself. And now you're in my club. You think there's any chance someone might make the connection? I don't know if you've helped or made things worse. I don't have to listen to this. Don't ask me for any more favors. Well. Poor, poor David Hatter. The guy who created Cop Rock? David Hatter's an aspiring screenwriter and hotel manager. He comes in more often than he would admit. Several years now. Poor dear just can't get a break. I overheard him talking about his new screenplay with one of my girls. It was about secret societies and creatures that found themselves dealing with inner beasts and persecution by elder monsters. Sound reminiscent of something to you? <laughs> I love these responses. Oh. He's writing about Kindred. Yes. The details of his story were too insightful to be coincidental. I think someone's working with David. A Kindred who doesn't realize the consequences of their actions. Do you know what the penalty for revealing ourselves to Kine is? Uh, death? Death. I'm afraid poor David's big break. The screenplay he's worked so hard on must be destroyed. And his less than silent partner must be... Executed. I know David too well. I'm very fond of David, and I'm too close to do what needs to be done. You're asking me to destroy Hatter's screenplay. I don't think Hatter knows his collaborator is kindred. You'll have to take David's screenplay, and somehow you'll have to coax the name of his source out of him. Once you found out who, kill the traitor. But do not touch David. Pretty sure I can manage that one. I'll straighten things out. David works at the Lucky Star Motel. He's very passionate about his writing. He loves to talk about his craft. I'm sure he'll talk about his screenplay. It may take some persuasion to get him to give up his collaborator's name, however. <laughs> the thing that attracted me most was the promise of murder. After this is over, I promise you'll have my complete attention. I'll come back with his screenplay. I find it funny that I tell her not to ask me for favors and then I immediately get another favor. That, that's pretty funny. Pretty disconnected, honestly. Alright. Let's go ahead and check. Got 7 XP now. My security's fine. I can get to lockpicking 6 with blood buff. Range combat's good. Combat defense is nice. What do I, I, I really want to get this still. But I don't know if I need blood boil, honestly. Blood Theft is working pretty well. Dominate 2 might be good. I don't really need Dominate 2. I'll be, I don't need melee at all. Dodge would be good. Because then my combat defense would go even higher. Hmm. I could get Dodge. Can't get Scholarship up. Because I don't have enough for either another point in Int or another point in that. And I need Research 6 for a couple of the frickin' books in my inventory. Research Skill 6, Research Skill 6, Brawl Ability of at least 2. So I need a Brawl of 2 and 2 books with Research 6. Alright. I think the Brawl one might be useful. We'll, we'll determine that later. I've got a long way to go still. I mean, I have to finish the entirety of this area. Let's go talk to David about his screenplay and who his friend is. 
Ooh, things are getting dicey. Perhaps I should eat some friggin' chicken. I want chicken now. Maybe I'll do that. I'll go get some chicken later. Nobody heard that. Oh god, look at how much blood I'm, I'm out. I am low. I might need the services of you, lady. There's a lot of ladies. I mean, I could go get a lady and go do the second quest in the graveyard. Alright. How you doing, Night buddy? eating you? Hey, uh, about that manuscript you were telling me about. You got an extra copy? A good writer always does in this town. Hey, hey, you, you in the business? Cause, man, I got tons of ideas for movies. In fact, I should give you one of my completed screenplays. This one's still a work in progress. I know a few people interested in making a vampire pick. You do? Man, that's fantastic! I, I, can, I can give you my screenplay if you promise to keep it safe. Don't worry. Say, uh, any co-writers, collaborators, you know, buddies? I really can't talk about it. He likes his privacy. How much will it cost to share his name with me? Well, I don't know. I mean... How's, uh, 50 bucks sound? Do you know how much sending manuscripts to agents costs? I'm a little tap right now. I'll be back. How much money do I have? I've got 252. Apparently he doesn't want that. So we'll do this. Let's see. Oh dear god, look at how old this is. Okay, I need to find out who his silent collaborator is without hurting him. Hmm. How do I do this? How do I do this? I could pick this up and throw it at him, but that's not gonna help. Is there anything over here? A guest has left a laptop in room three. The password is Lycans, but it only has a weird poem on it? Somebody named Kristoff left him that? Huh. Can I get into room three? I've never seen that before. That's room two. This is room three? I don't think I have enough lockpicking to get in. I think you need an eight. Yeah. And I don't have anywhere near enough. I can get it... If I spend a point, I can get it as far as seven, but I can't get it to eight. Ooh, I have an XP of nine now, though. So I can go ahead... Yeah, let's do that. Now... Okay. Security skill. Yes. That was good. I need a finance of two. I need a brawl of two. But I did get my security up for free. So I spent nine here and got the level up for free here. That's not bad. I don't know if I care enough for Brawl or Finance, but they're each three. They're fairly cheap. Uh, now I have to get him to tell me the name of his collaborator, but how? How do I do that? Is my only option Night money? You? Look, I need the name I, of I your... can't talk about it. He likes his privacy. Oh, here we go. Don't you think he wants to be famous, too? I mean, who doesn't? Okay, okay. He's a guy. He calls himself Julius. He lives under the pier. In fact, I'm supposed to meet him tonight. We talk about vampire film ideas all the time. He's a weird, weird guy, but really creative. You know, I, I love how his mind works. Oh, God. Julius. He's one of the thin bloods. Thanks, I'll be leaving now. I am going to have to run him out of town. Because I don't want to kill the guy. In fact, if I remember correctly, Julius is one of the ones who has the... He's the stutterer, I believe. And if I can, I'm going to run him out of town. That way I think I can get a humanity point by doing that, too. But let's go back to Santa Monica and deal with that right now. Also, I need blood. And that means visiting my ghoul. I need a drink. The feet adjustment is the difference between your skill and the requirement. Oh, what's my feet adjustment on my gun? I'm just curious. One. Okay. Alright. We're gonna visit, uh, Bonnie Heather. If you catch the reference, good for you. If you don't, you need to watch some cheesy 80 movies. Alright. Let's go visit Heather and check my computer. That way I can see if I got a good thing from the prince. Get a little XP off of that. 
probably bump my Brawl up so I can use the book. Because I think it'll probably give me another point in Brawl. Master? Um... I think I can feed on her freely. I need to check. Email... Tommy Flayton's review, 9. I recently read Mr. Flayton's scathing review of the Cavaletti uh, Cafe in the Sun, and I must tell you that I'm extremely happy with his conclusions. You've done well. Please accept the payment. I've left it in your mailbox. We will no doubt be seeing each other soon. Thanks. Is he still in here? Oh, God. I think I killed... If I eat him, I'm going to kill him, but let's find out. I'm going to quick save. And see if that causes humanity loss. Yep, it did. Okay, quick load. Didn't want that. Do not want that humanity loss. I just needed to test that. There, still at four. Can I feed on her without a problem? Pretty sure I can. She won't mind, generally. Okay, that's enough of that. Yeah, she's kind of out of it now that I fed on her. But, that's fine. She'll wake up later. Let's check Mercurio. Just in case. I don't have enough money to buy any. Wait. I forgot to check my mail. I need to check my mail. 100 bucks? That was it? That's all you gave me? You freaking cheapskate. Give me another point in Brawl. That way I can read the book on Brawl. Sweet. That puts my Brawl at 3. Cool. That is a very good thing. Let's go ahead visit Mercurio. See if he's got any new weapons for me. I want to talk to him anyway just to see if he stocks the weapon. Not that I have enough money to afford it right now. Hey, what's up, buddy? Anything I can do for you tonight? Need some equipment. Nothing new. And there's nothing I want to sell him. I could probably get rid of the Colt Special. I'm not using it. But I think I want to keep most of these. Yeah. Okay. Ah! Stupid doors. Alright, let's go uh, meet Julius and tell him he's been a very naughty boy. Most firearms. That's right, I gotta use Tab. I don't have any scoped weapons yet. Not that I can't get any, and I know I will get an AUG later, which will be very nice. I'm going to need the AUG for the final boss. Because if we all remember, the entire point of going firearms is so the final boss fight, Stage 2, is not a complete pain in the ass. Alright. The Baron is an Anarch Prince. Yep. Isaac is the Baron of Hollywood. Do, do, do. All right, now if I remember, oh, oh, they're all gone except him. I don't want to kill him though. I just want to run him out of town. What, 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 what do, you, do you want? You Julius? No, 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 no. You talk too much, Julius. Please. I, I, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't know. I, I didn't, I didn't mean, mean, I didn't mean to. I, I don't know. I understand what, what, what I am. I, I, I didn't, I didn't know. I'm sorry, but there are consequences for exposing us to mortals. <laughs> I, I'm so, so sorry. Please, please, I, I'll never do it again. Julius. Is this really how you want to go out begging on your knees, is it? No, 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 no. Oh, God. These aren't my rules, you understand. Please, find your heart. Please, find your heart. You're making this very difficult for me, Julius. Knock it off. You, you, you could let me go? I, I, Thomas, I, I, I would leave Los a Angeles, I swear. Oh, you're leaving L.A. in a coffee filter. Oh, oh God, 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 no, no, no. Hmm, 
I don't know if I'm going to be able to let him live. We're all just pawns in a game without rules, Julius. I'll do this quick, I promise. Well, guess I can't let him go. Nope. Well, that's fine. Alright. Well, we'll get the XP for that. I feel bad. I would have preferred to have let him go, but I don't think I had enough humanity to do that. I think that is actually a limiter. Oh, well. I'm, all, I, I'm too close to being a monster to let him go. Such is the existence of vampires. Yeah, if you notice, there's a lot more traveling now. Now that I'm further along in the game with more areas open, I have to bounce around a lot. Santa Monica, downtown Hollywood, downtown Santa Monica. I've still got one more quest for uh, Ash over in the cemetery, too. That's not Ash. I forget his name. Ash is in the Ash Hole. Need Wait, a ride? Of course I do. Take me back to Hollywood. Lots of running back and forth. Bit of padding. Oh, that's right, this way. Don't worry, Metalhead. I'll be inside of you later. We'll go in there later as well. There's uh, another kindred over there that I have to work with. Although I think I want to do Isaac's job first. What the hell was that explosion? Oh, that's right. That's Vesuvius blowing its top. Ha. 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 And this time, she should be happy. I didn't piss anybody off. Look who's back. Velvet. That's Miss Valor to you. <laughs> About Hatter. Mm-hmm. Here's his screenplay. Oh, I suppose I should just tear it up. But I just... I can't. I can't rip up the product of that man's soul. Here. Would you tear it up for me? Sure. Thanks. I found out the name of his source. Are they? I mean, did you? It's taken care of. It must have been difficult. But take some comfort in knowing if you hadn't, someone else would have had to. I do appreciate your help. A lot. How much do you appreciate it? Yeah, it's not a lot. But... It should be enough to buy yourself something a bit more appropriate for a personal acquaintance of Velvet Valor. How generous. Mm-hmm. Ah, oh, forget it. I've got to go... Oh, hey, 400 bucks. That is not a small amount of money. And I believe that's all she had. I'm going to double check. Look who's back. Miss Valor? Velvet will do nicely. All right. Uh, I have to go back. I'll be back. <laughs> That's pretty much it for her, at least for the moment. So, let's get out of here. I can't steal from you. Nope. Alright, I think this is a good stopping point for this video, because the next step that I need to do is really this dead X, which is going to be a whole thing. So... I will catch you on the next one. As always, thank you so very much for watching. If you like what I'm doing, feel free to hit the like button, subscribe, shut up, you bloody volcano. Uh, oh yeah, and I also need to go over there and do that thing in the cemetery on the next one. Uh, treat each other kindly and stay nerdy. Take care. Hey there, I just want to say thank you for watching this video. And a special thank you to all my patrons who are listed over there on the right hand of the screen. If you want to get your name in those credits, feel free to check it out at patreon.com slash terminallynerdy. And hey, be kind to each other and stay nerdy. Thanks.